Okay, so day three, it's morning time. Uh, just woke up a few minutes ago and um, ringing on the tent. It was um, it was a pretty good night. It wasn't even that cold. My uh, my heater right there stopped working, but it was it wasn't that bad. Um, so the plan today is to go have breakfast by the campfire, and um, we're gonna be riding out after that. I think we're gonna be taking the same route that we took in yesterday. If not, if I'm not mistaken, we'll head to another route. Uh, we'll stop by and have lunch, um, have a few photo shoots, um, and spend the day riding again, man. It's gonna be awesome. I'm gonna be on a different bike today, so I'm gonna be trying out the uh, Super Chief, so that should be fun. Um, and there is a 60% chance, 60 chance percent of rain and snow. So yeah, that, that we got some activity yeah it's, it's gonna be fun now fun fact i just found out well i didn't find out i knew yesterday but we're actually the place where we're located at right now is actually an old gold mine from back in the late 1800s 18 late 1800s um and yeah this place was you know where they came to mine gold and they gave us a little tour and they have like a they had a brothel house and they have their own doctor's office and their jail and the tree where they hung people who they caught stealing gold so yeah and supposedly this whole thing this whole place here is haunted too so i just seen a ghost last night but yeah anyways let me let me give you guys a brief little tour again today of the property and um show you guys the bikes guys where the magic happens <laughs> <laughs> this is where the magic happens so yeah i went in there <laughs> you got the brothel right here and then in case something happens after that you got the doctor's office right next door if you get some it's filled with the of all the men that died of uh, <laughs> the third stage of tertiary <laughs> look at this hey big sexy so I don't know how much of all this is original. Um, from what I know, the bed is original. Some of the furniture and um, what else? Most of this is wood in here. So people come here usually for tours. There's the old piano, old kitchen over here. It's like a little creepy, man. Like really creepy. It's pretty cool in a way. But they got a bunch of um bunch of shit like this and um this tree right here supposedly is where they used to hang anybody that got caught stealing gold and supposedly there's been like 18 bodies or more but <laughs> the guy was telling us that it was like way more of that so there you go and that's why supposedly this place is so haunted There's um, an elevator shaft all the way on that end over there that goes down, I don't know how many hundreds of feet, but they turned the lights on for us and so we got to look down. I think it was pretty sick. And we got some mountains back there. It's beautiful. It's like something out of like the wild, wild west, man. This is awesome. Super cool. All right, so day three, early morning, 8.45 in the morning, getting ready to hit the saddle, I'm about to hit the roads again. So for the next six hours or so, we're gonna be out riding, um, hitting on some canyons. And um, today I'm on this beautiful Super Chief right here. And I'm lucky enough, cause we're supposed to be expecting some rain and maybe possibly some snow. So I got lucky today with the windshield and the saddlebags. And we got some rain gear in there just in case. So pretty good, man. These guys are definitely taking care of us. It's been an amazing, amazing journey so far. Yesterday was great too. Got took the made some great content as well. Got some good videos coming out for you guys. Um, I actually did a discussion video out here as well. Uh, I'm not gonna say with who. It's gonna be a surprise, but you guys definitely gonna enjoy that. Should be a good video.
So this super cheap is a lot different from the uh, cheap that I was on yesterday. Guys, I'm here with this. We got the windshield, scoreboard. This you happens. Can you put this hat in the bag? In your side bag? Can you? Can you? I can't. I gotta charge it for it. Ooh. Oh, that's fucked up, oh, bro. I thought you were gonna land on it, too. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's got aggressive. <laughs> well, this just happened. We got some rain, so it look, oh, look like a bunch of uh, stooges here. We're in matching rain suits. I feel like this whole thing is bad. Better be safe than sorry. Making do? Oh, this is awesome. Making do? Oh, yeah, man. Why are you the only one having technical difficulties, huh? My helmet was being a fucking bag of shit. Shit, man. Come to Arizona, they said. It never rains here. It's always hot. And it's always sunny. Yeah. Yeah. Yo, it is started to pour. It's not that bad though. It's like a little rain here. Um, I was actually anticipating for it to rain a lot more. Like, I, if it's gonna rain, let it fucking rain. But this isn't that bad. A little water never hurt nobody. And we're protected in our uh, Indian attire rain gear which I gotta say it has been pretty um pretty warm as well here comes the here comes the rain Do -do -do -do. here comes the rain yeah and it's alright over the hill and through the desert So, I might have a little surprise for you guys towards later on in the video. We might be meeting some other YouTubers that you guys might know. So, tune in for that. There you go. Shoot. It's kind of windy now. Shit. Hey. It's alright. I feel like my ears are clogged up. Boom. <laughs> These little crosswinds right now, man. Yeah. Not helpful whatsoever. And it's alright. This ride today for me is so different since I'm on this uh, Super Chief. I got some good wind protection with this windshield in front of me. This one does not have the digital screen, I mean the digital analog, because this is the 111. It's not the 116. So the 111 is gonna be cheaper. It's not gonna give you that digital screen that uh, the 116 does, comes with. It's not gonna come with the 116 either. Um, it's pretty, uh, Pretty much it, different paint job. I gotta say that I much rather prefer the um, the Chief Dark Horse that I was on yesterday. 
because that uh that bike was so nimble man this super chief has a chunkier tire and it just doesn't let you you know lean into those those corners the way i i would like to you gotta put i mean you could you just need to put a little bit more effort into it but i like the fact that the uh, regular chief just um comes with that thin 19 inch wheel and it's just so easy to throw that bike around and it just feels a bit peppier as well one thing you do get on this one still is that you still do get the rider modes which is a super super plus so one way to navigate through that is this uh, top switch is over here you're able to switch around and change your modes on here um, so that's a plus so this does come with uh, touring uh, standard and sport mode I have it on sport mode right now I had it on standard before but I just I, I didn't like it to be honest it just um it felt a little flat um might also be and due to the fact that I, I came off the bigger engine yesterday and onto this one and um I was expecting a little more power with that being said though um it does feel good though and we are coming to a step Jeff is the man <laughs> hey <laughs> I gotta say that I have met some amazing people on this trip these guys have have all been very welcoming very nice um, the journalists as well because you know some like journalists they uh kind of look at youtubers like like Ugh, you're like scum because you know uh that's the only some though um the ones that i've met on this trip these guys are really cool man they're all down to earth um and then you know the rest of the um some of the vloggers that i met um jeff right here which is super funny man that guy had me dying um, and the whole Indian team, man, they've just been so welcoming, very helpful. They've um, been on top of everything, making sure that we got everything we need. And we are, we were in and out. Dude, this is the first time. Wait, no, I've seen an in and out before. I've never been to an in and out, though, before. I was mad the last time that I went to, um, I was on Vegas. I didn't try it. So, maybe that's what we're doing here, man. We're going to get some in and out. That'd be, that'd be pretty awesome. And we'll get it on film. My first impression of in and out Burgers, because I heard they're like, they're the best things on the West Coast, so hopefully that's true. Hopefully it lives up to its name. Oh, Nemo. Oh, yeah. Oh, I saw it, saw it flapping and open. Yes, I know. Was it? When, you were, when we were like at like 80. Ah, good thing my hat didn't fall out. Like my torque hat. In my torque vest, nothing flew out. <laughs> you would have been the MVP. Dude, what are we doing here? We're getting in and out. I've never had it before, and I heard nothing but great things. We we don't have this shit on the East Coast, man. What? Animal fries. What is that? It's delicious. <laughs> it's uh, delicious. Smash burger, man. Yeah, we have smash burger. That's it. Yeah, but it's like the smash burger. Mm. All right. All right. So first time trying the In-N-Out burger. This thing looks amazing. Let's we'll see how it tastes now. And Olivia, you're very welcome. First time. Junior, you wanted a coke. Yeah. We don't have this over we don't have this over there, man. The fries you gotta eat pretty quick. Uh. And we're back. So we just got an in and out burger. Dude, I gotta say, that has to be one of the best burgers I've ever had in my life. And uh Jeff was giving me all the inside on how it works and what other foods they do and you're able to get in there and ask for basically whatever you want customize your own order which is I think is awesome and then he told me that they don't freeze their meat everything is like super fresh so I was like what the fuck that's, that's dope so 
Um, we left there, and we are now heading back to the uh, hotel, which we were at the other day when we first arrived. Um, beautiful hotel, by the way. So if uh, if you are interested in visiting the hotel, it's the Hilton in Sedona. It's amazing. I love it. So we're heading back that way now. We got some beautiful views up ahead of us here. We got the mountains. All these beautiful 20 foot, 20 feet, 20 feet high cactus right here. I've never seen cactus so big in my life. Um, but yeah, this is um, just taking it all in, man. I'm enjoying it. Um, tomorrow, I will be flying back up to Jersey. So I'm enjoying this last little ride here as we go back. Um, I had a blast riding all these bikes this weekend. You know, once again, I want to give a huge shout out to Indian Motorcycle for bringing me out here and doing this. Um, it's a, a, a dream come true for me, and um, I'm blessed, man. I feel feel very humbled. Now, the day is still young. It's around 2 or 3 o'clock right now. We're going to head back, and we are going to be hanging out at the hotel, get some dinner, um, gather up with all the... Uh, the girls and the guys and uh, see what we do tonight, man. Make something of it. This right here is beautiful. So, um, we got Neil right here in the front. He's uh, one of the group leaders from India. And Jeff from V2 Visionary. I'm in their place and then we got, well, I don't know. Our group was like left behind, like miles and miles away. We kind of got on the road and took off. <laughs> it's a good thing about this trip, man, is that uh, the guys from India is like, they, they really want us to ride these bikes, man. And we're, we're riding them the way we want to. And we're just beating on these things, man. And wow. So hopefully I'll be able to get some good footage on tape right now because yesterday when we were coming down this mountain it, it was an amazing view of endless endless sight of the whole land and uh yeah my battery had died so couldn't get that so hopefully now when we go up I'm able to um get that on footage for you guys it's beautiful man it's just just gorgeous so up that hill right there I don't know if you can see it but you see everything paved in and it just goes around and around and higher and higher beautiful the landscape out here is just amazing oh group one is up ahead oh we're gonna have a police escort yes we are dude we fucking left everyone behind <laughs> i have no idea well i mean luckily there's a chase we got jeff behind him so I saw them like in the distance and then that might be them there. Shiny lights. Flashy lights. Alright guys, so we got the follow car right here. And uh these guys are gonna be getting some shot of us as we ride up the hills and hit these twisties up. So this should be fun. Should be cool. Yeah, baby, get my good side, baby. Get my good side. This is awesome, man. This is like, this is some movie shit right here. Direct me, baby. Direct me.
Look at this. These are the beautiful mountains I was talking about. I wish I was in a... Well, I mean, I don't wish I wasn't doing this because this is awesome. But I wish I could just overlook right now for you guys and see everything. Uh, once we get to the top of the mountain, we could try to get some footage for you. The next guy after me is up. I'll keep riding up all the way to the top of the mountain. We're supposed to be meeting up in a restaurant up ahead. Um, then we'll hang out there for a few. There we go. Restaurant. My hands get cold on that one. Yeah? Yeah. Well, we have I, I took off the other. We got some hot stuff in here for us. I wanted to make sure I was in control. And yeah. Big, big Neil, you are the man. Oh, it's out, not in. Oh, this is cute. This is nice. Hello there. Ah. So many choices. I shall sit here. This is a cool little place. Um... Uh, something warm. Coffee? Some coffee's fine, yeah. Thank you. Yes, please. Want to be the blueberry to my muffin? That's for you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, guys. There you go. this magnificent beauty right here this is the whole backdrop from the hotel man so we have one hell of a view just uh mother nature doing its best home sweet home And just like that, this riding day is done. <laughs> so, huge surprise. Look what we have here, these pretty faces. Hello. Hello. Saw Brandon you. Picasso. The legend, Mr. Blackhead. Saw. And the star, her two ears. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> um, this is amazing view, guys. This is super dope. We are gonna try to walk down and find this bar and get a few drinks and talk about some shit. How do you like everything so far? It's beautiful. You know what? I honestly didn't even know it like rained in Arizona. 
Yeah, I didn't know it rained and I didn't know that it was chilly. It's cold. <laughs> it's kind of cold. Listen, when we got to the top of the mountain yesterday, we there was snow everywhere. So. No, I don't think so. Arizona. Yeah. I brought my heated gear because I thank you for posting your Instagram stories <laughs> because I knew. <laughs> I was like, I know what to do now. Listen. There's uh so much that you you you're gonna be what whoa this Arizona really yeah. amazing yeah this is beautiful I I don't usually get taken out and you know people pay for my drinks but. This guy with this luscious hair just did, so. <laughs> it's like every day I get the chance to drink with well, You said that and I looked up when you were talking about me. <laughs> Don't get jealous, man. You're, you're special in your own way. <laughs> Kitty lover. Hey. Hi. What's up? How are you? Smile for the camera. Uh, that'll be $20, please. <laughs> <laughs> that is the funniest bartender ever. I love her. I love her. <laughs> She's dope. Good. Good morning! We are on our last day here in Sedona. Beautiful Sedona. Um, so, it's Wednesday. Just got some breakfast right now and just getting a few things ready and then we're gonna head out. Um, just wanna show you guys the view that I have right now outside my balcony, which is pretty amazing. Just being able to walk out and look at all these Indians right here just sitting pretty. Nice and pretty at that. So, I just wanted to take this time and just um, thank you guys for watching, number one. Um, thank you so much to India Motorcycle for allowing me to do this once again. Um, this has been an amazing journey, an amazing trip. A once in a lifetime opportunity. Um, I met some great people, made some new friends, built some new relationships, got to ride some amazing bikes. Um, and I accomplished one of my biggest goals, which was to come out to the West and just riding these beautiful open roads here in you know beautiful Arizona, and um, and I'm I'm at lost words. Um, this has been great. Um, I hope that there there will be more to this in the future because um, this this whole trip was just uh, it definitely opened up my mind a lot more on uh, my overall thinking of the channel and what I'm doing with my current bikes and what I want to bring onto the channel as well. Um, and that's it. Uh, I was gonna get into something else, but I'll leave that for a separate video because I think that should be its, its own topic. Um, but for now, that's gonna be it, man. Um, I'm gonna catch you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Let the force be with you. Ride safe and enjoy the ride, baby. Peace.